very tall. Hey, you're tall. A little short Italian guy. Oh, you have shoes on. Can you take them off? It's a start. Come on, if you could take them off. Yeah, if you could just flip them off. They don't come off so easy. Oh, uh, they have like buckles and yeah. things with leather on them. Okay, great. <laughs> Gabby, what do you do for work? Um, I'm a scientist. A scientist? Woo! So am I. <laughs> so is Larry. He made that shirt from acrylic shit. Are you really a What kind of scientist? Um, immunologist. Immunologist, so I'm so immunity of blood and all that. That's pretty cool. Wow. I'm bleeding. <laughs> How this will work, Gabby? I'm going to use your obviously a very intelligent person, and I'm going to use your brains and your and your. You're going to help me with this. How this works is you're simply going to get behind me. <laughs> no, let me explain it first. You're going to get behind me, and your arms are going to take the place of my arms. I'll put my arms behind you. They'll be folded just like this. I swear to God, the rest of the family will be like that. <laughs> As I tell the story, Gabby, you're doing normal things like waving and pointing. Very simple. You ready to go? Yeah. Let me just strip naked so I don't <laughs> Okay, get, I'll take your arms, Gabby. Relax, and we'll do a few tests. You can get closer. There's nothing back there that can hurt you. <laughs> well, she is a transvestite, then she <laughs> Eva, you'll explain it to Larry. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, I see your arms and my arms. Just say hello, my friend. No, relax. Don't go crazy. <laughs> She's doing her own freaking show now. Just, just say hello to my friends. Hi, Tony. Hi, Julie. Hi, hi Ally. Hello, Eva. Hey, never touch my nipples like you do. Every, every time I do this, they touch my nipples. It's so weird. So just touch them and get it over with. She's a sick scientist. Okay, here we go. The story starts out. I was driving. I was driving. Just know it all on my motorcycle. It's a little bike when I'm on a Honda. It's a big car. Big, 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 oh, thank God we have adjustable handlebars. So, what the hell are you doing? So, I give it a little gas. Rev it up. And Larry, look familiar? So, I see Larry, I point to him and say, hey, Larry, hi. Hey, like a gun kind of thing. Yo, Larry. Like, more like a gun. Okay. Hey, on the left, yo, Tony. Hey, you got a little nipple again. Here we go. Hang on, I got a little booger. Come on, you're a scientist. All right, here we go. The story starts out, I was driving. I was driving. All of a sudden, I spot this guy that I know on the right side of the road, right over right up there. <laughs> this may take longer than I thought. <laughs> Meanwhile, my handlebars are shrinking. <laughs> Point to this guy right over there. He's an ass and a jerk. He cheated me out of money in a card game. I couldn't stand his guts. I hated him. I gave him the old hand signal. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that! <laughs> He got out of his car and he walked up to me and said, Hey, Carpy. I said, Are you talking to, to me? And the guy said, Yes, I'm talking to you. Me. He was a stupid man. He said, I want that money that you owe me right now. I was scared. I was freaking out. The guy said, look, you. I said, who? Me? He said, yeah, I want this. I thought I'd put my fist up and scare this dude. So I put them both up. I will hurt you. I think the rings and nail polish scared his ass. I said, I know karate. Thank <laughs> you.
lethal karate of some sort. I said, look, how much you want to let me go? This is ridiculous. I said, you got any change? I said, I don't know, I'll check my front right pocket. Cautiously, I checked. I said, come on, dig deep down in there, could be small change. So I'm checking for an hour and a half. Let's give her a big round of applause. Thanksgiving. God bless and have a very nice night. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Julie. Thank you.